You hear? Chat, talk to me. Let me get right. Yeah, we here, chat. Who rolling in? Blue for the shoe. Why, Daddy? Hold on, y'all. How I look, y'all? Y'all can't tell me I can't take no... Ready? Kill, kill, kill. Now, all, I, all I'm waiting for is my fucking fat-ass lineman, y'all. I just need a lineman. Where's my lineman? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. here. I'm not playing no games today. Yeah, four touchdowns. Oh, How you like my form? Ten like pick. Form? How you like my form? Okay, you look like you're strong. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I'm on my phone. Ready, go. <laughs> Ready? Okay. okay. What's up, Jack? We in the building. Welcome to Super Stream 9. Hit that like button on your way in. Fro's not playing no games today. All right? I got one job, and it's to protect the quarterback. That's it. I better not get touched. I got you. I got you. Fucking got you. Ten pancakes. No sacks. <laughs> one QB hurry. That's just one. Just one. And that's because they're going they're going to stun on you. Frozenbergtv.com. Make sure y'all go get y'all merch. We appreciate everybody pulling up. It's about to be a movie. You already know. Big battle rap weekend. Why not top it off with when a I, super stream? When I tell y'all. When I tell y'all, this brings back that feel. Like, I think 25 for 31, two touchdowns, passing, one rushing, tush push. Mm. Tush, push, tush, push, 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 push all day. Tush push all day. Now, it's a little bit of sweet. Mm -hmm. As you know, I think I can play semi-pro. Semi-pro what? Football. Like Warm Mr. Colts. What weight class? That's no weight class in a semi-pro football. Yeah, but I don't want to. That's what I said. Playing with the adults, you might get hurt. I'm a, what you mean? You know, you ain't 260. I don't, you know, this ain't really 40% body fat. You, how much? 40%. <laughs> 40%. 40%. Where? On the, on the, on the left side? <laughs> Off of the lineman. I'm built like an old lineman. Hey, listen. Let me see the form. Let me see the form. You want, you want center or tackle? Tackle. Tackle. On, on the move. Oh my gosh. Oh my, we're getting sacked. Nah, we're, 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 we're getting sacked. One more, all right, we'll try again. All right, one more, one more. On, on, on the move. Go. <laughs> a little better? A little better. Okay. A little better. I ain't, I ain't, ain't stretching yet, yo. <laughs> I ain't stretch yet, y'all. All right, who in here? Jason Kelsey, we see you. Niff Bug, shout out to all the mods. Did y'all hit that like button? Did y'all hit that like button? Because we got a we got a movie for y'all today. We got a legend pulling up today. I ain't got no more rap. You know, we do things a little different around here in the zone. Y'all already know how we give it up. This is my national anthem stance. <laughs> Head up, chin up, chin up. Chin up. Chin up. <laughs> Get to y'all. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. What is you doing? <laughs> Bro, stop playing. I'm not, man. I, you can't sack my quarterback. Well, line it up. I'm about line it up. 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 Stop playing. Line it up. Line it up. You said I'm quarterback. All right, hey, you take your oh, shit. Bro, better not touch me. Bro, hey, I got bros. you. Better not touch me. Let's go. Be sure you want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Go back a little bit. Let the ball be right there. 
Welcome back to the channel, man. Happy to see y'all. Hopefully, y'all happy to see me. Now, I don't know if y'all saw what just happened. If you're just rolling in, two things. McCoy, Big Gerald, you jumped off sides. Okay. And <laughs> bros, that was illegal hands to the face. <sighs> Chat, y'all know, after a good game, Halftime. You, you know about the horse slices. slices. You know about the horse slices. I'm questioning. You need, you need a Rice Krispie. They call those <laughs> Rice Krispies. What they do for Rice Krispies? What that do for you? Give you sugar at halftime. Keep All right, so I remember there was a time back when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and it was the Andy Reid Eagles era. Yeah. And it was a game. March and what's funny is, gee, I think we might have been playing Tampa. Okay. 
and it was at like 105 degrees, and they was giving all the players pickle juice. Yeah. What's that do? It's salt. Because I hear you cramping. say sugar. So it's Salt keep you from cramping. So y'all eating Rice Krispies and drinking? At halftime, yeah. Well, your body's moving. Where am I getting You burn it. You burn it. Well, water. You, yeah, you got it. And take a water. You burn it. Get so many calories. So right. You burn it so many calories and so much energy, you can pretty much eat anything. Mm. So after the game, that's the best time. Like, if you want to, like, cheat on your diet or eat whatever, it's that's the, the game day. After the game. After the game. After the game, you can eat anything and it won't affect you. I just started my diet. I got you. What I'm you a little going? late. Okay. I'm a little late. Okay. I was supposed to start a month ago. Okay. But, you know. They Better late than never, right? At least you start. You know what I'm saying? Now that that, that now that shitty. Okay, so after a, a crazy divisional game, mm-hmm. which what, what's a what's a go to meal for Gerald McCoy? Oh, uh, so it some shit you so can't eat during the week, right? Yeah. So what we do is we would pick whatever was popular in the city. Mm. So if we played Philly. We cheese would, steaks. We, yes, we would get cheese steaks for the whole team. When we was going to Cali, we ate In and Out Burger or. Whatever we could get. So we ate whatever was in the city. So we go to New Orleans, you know, we get beignets, we getting Po Boys, Boys, Gumbo, all that, yeah. all that good yeah. stuff. So now now what was your cheesesteak spot in Philly? Did you have one or you? I honestly don't remember, man. I just ate wherever they said to go, but I didn't have like a, a local to tell me where to go. So I don't even remember. We I didn't play I ain't played in Philly since twenty fifteen. Oh yeah. that long? Yeah. Mark Sanchez was the quarterback. We played Philly after that. Yeah, we played Philly after that. But that was y'all, dark came, time. y'all came to Tampa. It was, that was a dark time. We played, the last time I played Philly was after y'all won the Super Bowl the next year. Oh, oh, oh after we after we hoisted the Lombardi. Yeah, yeah, we beat y'all. How is it playing in Philly? The, so it's not a myth what they say about the fans and all that because I was sitting there, uh, we were sitting at the tunnel, and this fan was. Off, cussing me out, started getting personal and stuff. And everybody who know me know I'm just chill. So I turned around, I was like, bro, at this this very voice you hear, I was like, bro, is all that necessary to root for your team? He was like, I'm sorry, man, I'm just hyped for the game. <laughs> so it's like the fans are like that, but you know, for the for the players. What do you mean the myth though? A, like, what do you mean the myth? You is know, true? they say mean? you know they say Philly is a crazy place to play. Y'all got the craziest fans. Now, y'all in the argument, I don't know if y'all are the craziest. Who's I mean, so the, the craziest? Argument. Talk to me. So it depends on what your definition of crazy is. Okay, you're talking we, about wild fans, yes. You talking about crazy or insanity? Raiders, like, like uh, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Those yeah. are Cowboys fans. Mm. They, they don't win every year. Oh, oh, oh. oh you talking my talk yeah. right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. man, I'm in the, Philly. You thought I was about to go? Now, now, you know, the you delusional. said delusional. Okay. Now, yeah. now. Now, well, I want to ask you something because one of my best friends yeah. is a Cowboys fan. Okay. Right? Now, you signed with the Cowboys. I did. And if I'm not mistaken, and I'm, I want to put this out there because it's public, and yeah, I'm, yeah, this yeah. is actually something me and bros wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, you burped. I believe you got about so seven to nine million dollars hanging, guaranteed, oh, well, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't and say. you got hurt in preseason uh-huh. and was injured for the season. Yes. Now, he says something. I just want to validate is this true because as a Dallas fan, he right. always talks with this ignorance. Right. And he's like 28, Gerald. So he yeah. saw none of the championships. Right, like right. six months, he was six months old when they won their last title. Yeah. He said, yeah, man, Gerald got injured. He had, you know, we talked about the guaranteed money. He said he really burnt this. And then he was like, but in his interview, he said he always wanted to be a cowboy. Did you always want to be a cowboy? Yeah, so I'm from Oklahoma, and you feel two ways about the Cowboys. You either love them or you hate them. Mm-hmm. I did. My first three book reports was on Cowboys, I guess you can say Cowboys Big Three, mm. Emmitt Smith, Irvin. Michael Irvin, and Troy Aikman. So I've always, like, it's been a thing to be a Cowboy in Oklahoma. So wanting to be a Cowboy, when I had the opportunity, I was like, heck, yeah, I'll be a Cowboy. Yeah, I'm from sure. Oklahoma, so, yeah, but I didn't burn y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is when you sign, when you've had my resume, when yeah. you sign, they have to pay you a certain amount yeah. just to put your pen to paper. Mm. So I got all my money for putting my pen to paper. So, like, since we on the money, mm-hmm. like, you know, I got a regular job, right? Mm-hmm. Regular. 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 I mean, I do high. I'm talking about compared to Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, 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 it's all right. It's regular. <laughs> <laughs> it's regular. So, all right, we in those meeting rooms. I got you, Super Chats. F- five years, $95 million, then what? Like, do we, like, 
every two weeks or like how do you, we get paid? Do you get that lump sum like like huh. you you sign a signing bonus and then your your account go from so uh, you know a rookie, little bit to a lot? Like how yeah, does that work? That's how it works. So my rookie year, um, first check I ever received from the Bucks was one point eight million dollars. Number three overall pick. Yeah, and one the first point, check the first check they gave me. This two. is not the signing bonus. So how like, how long after draft does that one point mil hit the account? Oh, uh, I got paid. So remember, I've been so I've been a part of three CBAs. I was a part of the old one where we still had two a days. Yeah. Then I was, you know, remember when the rookies? A lot of people don't remember this. Y'all remember when the rookies would get drafted, but they would miss like the beginning of training because mm-hmm. they contracts weren't working. Yes. Out. My contract, my rookie year, I missed the first day of practice because my contract wasn't done. You weren't signed yet. Nah. So you weren't technically a buck. Mm-hmm. Nah. I wasn't signed yet, so I missed the first day of practice. I came on the second day, and I didn't practice until the afternoon practice. So I missed three practices. So do you have room to negotiate as, as a rookie? Yeah. So is, well, was that what that old, was? In the old CBA. Is that what that yeah. was that time That's you was negotiating? Was. Well, yeah. I was trying to get my guaranteed up. Okay. Did it, did, it, did, you, did you get the guaranteed up? <laughs> Let's go. Sure. <laughs> so, so, sure. What was, all right. If you, so humor me, what was the week, first? A week after that is when I got my first check. A week after the draft. After I signed. 1.8. No, after I signed my contract. A week after you signed 1.8. First contract was <laughs> five years, fifty three million. All right, so as that, a rookie, yeah, oh, like like wait wait Bro. coming out of school, yeah. yeah, yeah. I told you I was an old CBA. Bro, I was the last man. year. Oh, so through. let me tell you, I, let me tell you the difference in the CBA. Oh my goodness, my I was the last year the old CBA, the one that the vets now hated. The difference in my contract and the third overall pick the following year was thirty mil. Oh. So you made thirty mil less than me. That's crazy. Just from getting drafted the following year. Probably because of you. And I got I made I made <laughs> No I made, Sam Sam Bradford didn't he have a crazy didn't Sam he Bradford he was 70. the number one over what your quarterback, he right? Got 70. I'm about to say, didn't he get a crazy contract out the 70, draft? Yeah. That was the uh, same year, right? Yeah. Did you see So uh, your quarterback went one? A Dom went, Sue went, went two. Sue went two. So that year is the year we had three out of top four picks. Mm. And, and Sam Bradford, me, and Trent Williams. And then Let's we had Gre- yep. yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jermaine Gresham. Yeah. Pro Bowl was everywhere. <laughs> we had Jermaine Gresham, who was a Pro Bowler. He went 20th. Who year. was your quarterback the first year of My your first rookie year? year? Josh Freeman. Mm, I remember Josh. Josh was nice. Big, big dude. Josh was nice. Josh was solid. Josh was like on out of order. Like, like, he never really had that. Josh had some off the field stuff that deterred him. So when we got a new court, we got a new coach. Uh, we did captains. Josh didn't get voted as a captain. Mm. And everybody was like, dang, how the quarterback got to get voted as captain? Well, he wasn't even coming to the offseason. But tell me if I'm tripping so, because I, rem- I like I would put Freeman in like a uh, like a Tannehill bubble. Like a guy yeah. that could be a guy yes. and then a That's guy exactly that could underachieve too, That's right? Yeah, yeah. Josh yeah. was Josh was solid. Yeah. Okay, so you get your you get your first contract as a rookie. Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five. Yeah. And we see all of that. They announce yeah. it to the public. They announce it to the public. Now, two yeah. questions. As a football suck. player, do y'all like that? We don't care. All right. <laughs> now <laughs> money. Second of all, <laughs> did your phones ring a lot more after it was announced? It rang as soon as I got drafted. Hey, cuz, cuz, you remember. Hey, cuz. The first thing that somebody brought to me was to buy a whole, like, complex. Like a whole apartment complex. complex. Like, like, no, don't like sound like a bad idea. But it seems like, like a lot businesses. of businesses. They just said, hey, listen, you know, they're they selling this, 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 and this. I'm like, all right, tell me what you know about the business. Well, the papers say that, man, all right. You know, right, 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 right. So that's they start the, coming out the woodwork. I always wondered that because, and, 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 in sports, what y'all make, and I guess it's a lot of money, y'all don't care, but that that must come with, you know, changing in relationships with family members because it I does. think expectations maybe get yeah, higher of you, here's right? Here's the thing I try to tell people when I talk to people that a lot of people don't know. Don't always look at the number you see on TV. So you see different terms like this guarantee up to this, yes. this number, this number. Well, you have to understand. So you might see, let's say you see a player, you're like, oh, he got overpaid. But you're not taking into account. He plays in California. So they right. have to overpay him to balance like out what yeah, he's going yeah, to get because yeah. he's going to get taxed so much. He's making the same amount as this person or a little more. But it looks like they overpaid him, but they had to in order for when the taxes come out. Now he makes this much money. So sure. start looking at where these people are getting paid at because we get – 
what a lot of people don't know is we get taxed according to where the game is at. I lived in Florida. Mm. So you got I got taxed if we played the 49ers in Cali, I got taxed Cali, Texas. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So if we played in oh. New York, I got taxed New York taxes. That's how it works. So that's Dang. why you all that that's why when people be like What's taking so long to negotiate? That. Right. You gotta play. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying it, it, some players we might think overpaid really might not have been. Might, might not have been overpaid. And then you might see a number. It'll say 100 mil. But what you don't know is in the contract, That's what the he, have to have, he have to have this done. He has to play this much part, this much of the snaps. He has to have this stat, that stat, this, this, this. He got to be at this much in the offseason program. He got to – to get that much, realistically, he's making this much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot in these kinds. So, my boys, when they see numbers, they always call me, gee, what is he really getting? I'm <laughs> like, well, let me call my agent. He yeah. tell me. Because <laughs> you can just pull, – he pulls it up. He break it all down. So, yeah. So, so, so once you get – once you, you know, you sign and all mm-hmm. of that, now it's like on a two-week basis like anything else? Yeah. Or you a week paid, basis, no, I you guess? you literally get paid like everything else. Every two weeks, you get paid. Mm. So you get, but the payments is different. So you might see. If you call out of practice, is that like so a sick day you don't get paid for that? No, you still get paid. So you get paid for, if you on the, some people get paid depending on what they're on. So you might get paid based on opening day. You got to be on the opening day roster. If you're on the opening day roster, you make this much money for sure. Okay. But then you have to be on the roster, the game day roster, so many times to make this much money. Or you might have to play 70% of the snaps to get this so some much of them money. numbers don't really mean yeah, nothing. A lot, them numbers, a lot of them numbers don't, don't mean, mean nothing. That's so, crazy. So here's an example. My rookie year, my base, like there's a base salary, so you might see a signing bonus, you might see a guarantee, and yeah. then you might see a base salary. So you see a person make 200 mil, but his base salary is only $6 million. Mm. That means that's what he's getting over the games. But he might sign, and the signing bonus might be $20 million. Mm. But he's getting paid per game. So On that's the, the base. That's the $6 million. It's that over the 17 games now. So that's how they be messing it's with the numbers. Million. Yes. And, and, and so now you so- might say, well, how'd they get more, more space in the salary cap? They took his base. They dropped his base to a million. So over the year, he's making a million dollars for playing the game. They took the other five and put it in a signing bonus. Now it don't go against the cap. So mm. now you just created five million dollars. Mm. You could go out and go get yeah, this go person to sign this person. Mm. Yeah. So like going like back to what you said about Dallas, to where it's like you got hurt early. Yes. Right. Yeah. Before opening day. Yeah. You still get them guaranteed. I made you- three million dollars in play- practice twice. <laughs> Let's go. I love to hear that. Aha, Dallas. Aha. Dallas. But hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Me, we, me and the Cowboys is good. I was just at NFL. I am, honors me and the Cowboys Vegas. ain't good. Listen, I was at NFL Honors in Vegas, and I seen all the Cowboys staff. Jerry Jones walked up to me and hugged me like I was one of the players. Like it was fa- like your family. Yeah. Did you ever, ever at one time think you might be an Eagle? I thought about going to the Eagles. What stopped you? Eagles had Fletcher Cox. You know, I think the Eagles always had a dope D tackle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah. partnering up was one thing. You but I wasn't a partner up guy. We had, me and, like, if I was a nose guard, I would have said, okay. Because me and Fletch, Fletch texted me two days ago. So, Tell my I guy was, I said, what up? Tell him yeah. I love him. Yeah. 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 Tell him yeah. throws yeah. that I like. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. you. Let him so, know. like, if you, you say, well, gee, Sue and Aaron Donald partnered up. Yeah, well, Sue also is a – like a nose guard hybrid. And wasn't that later in Sue's career too? Yes. I was a three technique, get on the edge, get up field. That's what Fletch was. Three technique. You're not having two. Like, like, what you mean? Like, like. So, if you go. So, you got three You talking like this? This three? What? That's a three point stance. How I look? (laughs) How I look? Terrible. (laughs) (laughs) Like one of the little judges. (laughs) Terrible. (laughs) So, if you talk about three technique, you got the center. The guard, he's on the outside shade of the guard. Yeah. All and right. then if you got the center, the guy that's on the inside shade of the center is the nose guard. So me and Fletch did the same thing. So it was like, and, and I was gonna be talk, wasting funny, myself there because you know we like to talk shit. Yeah. So I was looking at Fletcher Cox's numbers. Mm-hmm. Very comparable. Mm-hmm. You and him are very comparable. Well, here's what I'll numbers say. wise. Here's what I'll say. Us at the same year in our career, mine was better. But at your height, always. 
on a winning team. So yeah, I get it. What like so they did the all decade team. Aaron Donald was a given. Dominican Sue, Geno Atkins, and Fletcher Cox. Right. When I seen those names, <clears throat> at first I was like, you know what? It's kind of disrespectful. Then I said, you kind of can't go wrong. Uh, Sue had four first team all pros. I get it. Yeah. Aaron Donald was Aaron Donald. Yeah. Geno Atkins has 75 sacks. <sighs> now that leaves me and Fletcher. Fletcher has a Super Bowl ring. Yeah. Yeah, he does. There it is. Yeah, he does. Winning does it all, man. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately for you, unfortunately for you, you but was, it was on so a lot many of, of us. Yeah, the, the Bucks teams, shaky team, the, the Bucks teams you was on. And I'm like, Fletch, keep falling into these great teams. <laughs> How the heck do y'all keep doing this? <laughs> do, do, didn't you have more all pros than Fletch? Yes. Yeah. But he got he got the jewel. He had the ring, and it happened right after. It well, y'all got the like, same amount of first teams. Yeah, but it happened right after the ring. Let me ask you this. So it was like, okay, <laughs> let's okay, take the okay. ring out though. Yeah, which you can't do. No, but I want to ask him a question. You've never played in the NFL playoff game in your career. No. Do you think that had anything to do with it? For sure. When but, is, when and curious. Okay, listen. But as a D tackle, let me, but let like me that. tell you this. Let me tell you this. A lot of people is like, well, maybe you should have did more. In We're going to run the ball in 2014. JJ Watt had 20 sacks, 25 TFLs. Tackles for loss, if y'all didn't know. Yeah, for tackles sure. for loss. If y'all didn't know. He had 70-plus tackles. He scored five touchdowns on offense, and they didn't make the playoffs. Listen to all that I just said. 20 sacks. Yeah. 20 tackles yeah. for loss. Touchdowns five touchdowns on <laughs> offense. Yeah. He was playing he a lot of tight He had interceptions. He had tons of forced fumbles, yeah. and they didn't make the playoffs. So that goes – and he won defensive player of the year. That goes to show a defensive lineman – they can change the game and take over a game, but they can't make your team win. No. If your offense is trash, no, you're if trash. everybody – you see what I'm saying? You don't think Aaron Donald was affecting that much on defense? He was, but look at what he had around him. Right. When they went to the Super Bowl the first time, Ty Gurley won Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah. Yeah. They still had Jared Goff, who was almost in the Super Bowl again. Yeah. Well, Underrated quarterback. That's what I'm saying. They had a team. Well, then they Jared went Goff? back and won Hold it. On. Who, who would you rather have right now, Goff or Jalen Hurts? Because I think we argued about this. Jared Goff. Really? Yeah. Jalen Hurts is a – and I love him. I love him to death because he's right, you be, be, Listen, be I careful. Don't, I don't like you starting. Yeah, be, <laughs> I, be I tell you careful, what. G. No, 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 no. I want to hear what you got to say. I just want to be honest with you. I don't like you starting off with, I, I love Jalen Hurts. <laughs> like, that's what we I started. Do, yeah. do. Well, what's Remember, after that? Because that's like the highest. It's not now. It's not that. It's colleges, just, right? Yeah. Well, kind of. He rep us kind of. He more Alabama. So, that's why I be like, I can talk freely because you don't really rep us like that. He kind of do. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. When it, you know, when it benefit him, but whatever. Oh, so you saying, right, so he's, go ahead. He, he's, you're a saying he's a crimson, crimson tie. Yeah, he's he's yeah, more than a we soda. crimson and cream. He's more crimson tie. Didn't he come in second in the Heisman that year he played with y'all? Uh, no, nah, he didn't come in second. He was in the race for sure. Absolutely, he came in. second. I don't even think he went to the ceremony. I think he came in second place in the Heisman race the year he nah, played with y'all. That, that was uh, that was uh, Joe Burrow's year. He you might be right. Joe Burrow yeah. won it, right? You yeah. might be right. I know, so Jalen was in the Heisman race, though. At some point. I don't think it was. You don't think it was when he was with the Sooners? No, nah, he played He played well for us. Let me, here's so you said point. you had Jared Goff. And, the and reason was, I'm taking Jared Goff is because um, Jalen Hurts didn't show signs of being that until he got in the right system. Jared Goff has always showed signs of being a capable quarterback. Two He's done teams, it in multiple offenses. systems. Early. What about what about Jalen's first year when he didn't have much and he took his team to the playoffs and he lost to the Buccaneers through Tom Brady? His first year. As a starter, yeah. as a starter, yeah. it was his first year as a starter. <coughs> Absolutely it was. Uh, yeah, that don't count for nothing? Y'all were the worst division in football. Somebody has to, somebody has to get in the chat. Said he was in the race at Oklahoma. I, you know, I know I love my quarterback. I know my quarterback. A yeah, bit. he was in the he race. He was in the race. He was in the fly. He was a finalist. Well, All right, well, you know what? Was he a finalist? Y'all sure? Look it up. Somebody check that for check. Somebody Make check sure. that and look and see if he was a finalist. I'm not too. Now, sure. I, well, since we're on the Eagles, Mr. NFL Network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. And that uh, you you got that job prior to this season. Mm-hmm. You going back next season? I am. Definitely. Congratulations. Get that job. Clap it up for that. Yeah, clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Now, 
We had a catastrophic meltdown. Disaster. Can you please tell everybody that I told you that was going to happen? Before? You told me it was going to happen. called it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> now, hold on. A week maybe 13. Right, it might have been like week 13, 14. I said, I asked you, I said, is uh, can they turn this around or is it shot? You told me this it's is shot. shot. I said they are who they are they and they're gonna have a are. first round exit. Exactly. And I didn't even yeah. know who's playing the Bucks. No, exactly what he said. I said he, I, he said, Are we going home in the first round? Yeah, yeah. He oh, said he said, Are you he said, Are we going home in the first round, G? And he said, Yes. Yes. Now we ended up playing his team. Yes. So that just is. happened to happen. Right. Right. But, but, but I, I know you. Before that, you know, I, you know, you guys are the experts, so I know you guys know scenarios. Now you say you're cool with Fletcher. Uh, I'm, I'm. I love Fletcher to death. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing and grandma I adore B. Yes. BJ. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. my favorite eagle the all the time. He's out the mud with it. Brian Dawkins yeah. and them, right? Yeah. Um, but we see the meltdown, and as a fan base, I, I mm-hmm. like to think and. I can't speak for the other fan bases, but I like to think as we, we live and die by our Eagles, meaning the way they're playing is the temperament of the city, mm-hmm. yeah. Monday through Friday type shit. Yeah. So if they're playing bad, the Dunkin' Donut lines aren't fun. Why, why is we're hostile? Station. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, traffic a little bit more. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it, it's really like that. Hey, my man, you said something. Yeah. Hey, oh, all right. hey, hey, bro, get off my brake lights. You a little too close. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, which one get out of the light? Like it get like that when the Eagles aren't playing. Well, they we, win it. You see somebody with a hat on. Go birds! Go birds! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, howdy, neighbor. Yeah, that's yeah. Just with the Eagles, not the Sixers, just the Eagles. No, no, no that's all of us. That's Philly. Philly. No, like, but, I, it's, but it's the Eagles, more egregious with the Eagles. The Eagles run this city. Okay. Eagles run this yeah. city, and don't it's let nobody egregious. ever tell you nothing. Shorter direction. season, they yeah, run the yeah, city. Yeah, yeah. One now, game a week. Don't yeah, get me wrong. The thing, you see, the thing about the. Sixers, Phillies, and Flyers is it's all the same fan base, but the temperaments are a little. We all share that same, you know, that that same temperament, but it's still right. a little bit different. The Flyer fans are crazy too, but so we're having this meltdown, and and none of us have the answers. We're starting to hear dumbass stats like the Eagles motion less than any team in the NFL. <laughs> we're like, what? Just come what? On, what? Yeah. Yeah. We're like, where are these stats coming from? But it's they're coming up as we're playing terrible. What happened to that ten and one football team that just melted down? Well, I don't think it was a meltdown. I think it was winning was masking all the problems. Uh, twenty twenty, Pittsburgh still has started eleven and zero. We knew they sucked too, and everybody could see it. Yeah. Well, when you're watching the game and you're breaking it down, you said, and I said this, and anybody, I w- I hope somebody who's watching this is one of those people who told me I didn't know what I was talking about in week five. I said. Stop Philly from running the ball, they in trouble. The secondary is not very good. The pass rush is in. This was in week five. I said this on the nightcap on NFL Network. I said, if people figure out you stop them from running the ball, Jalen can't beat you from the pocket, season's over. But Jalen threw good in the pocket last season, though. Did he? Did you see the Super Bowl? Did you watch the Super Bowl? He threw on the run well. He's got the best offensive line in the league. I he mean, threw in the pocket well. I want, he, he, they were even saying, this I, guy can beat you in the pocket yeah, and I, on the run. Like, that's yeah, what they were saying, that's though. That's what they were saying, but was it happening? It was. I mean, he, he had, had a great Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Okay, he did. But did y'all run the ball well in the Super Bowl? Everything no, no, did. no, no, like no, no, he did not run the ball football. Uh, uh, he was the Miles best Sanders, player on the field. Miles Sanders fumbled the first yeah, snap yeah, of the man. game, okay, and he didn't listen, get the ball. He was the best listen. player on the field yeah, for three keep quarters. Going, keep going, now. For three quarters. Right, but that was one time. This is why I always say, when, people, when I was on Rich Eisen and people said, when I said certain people are not elite, and I said I have to see it two times, at least twice, before I can crown you elite, you can't do the same things over and over again and be successful. So a comeback season. season if, they figured it out what y'all do. They did. They figured they out did. what y'all do. Everybody was At that point, you have to make you have to make an adjustment. That's why the Chiefs so that's can coaching, do it. Right? That's coaching them too, right? Yeah, but the quarterback has to. I th- I didn't think Jalen put- played particularly well this season, yeah, right? That's uh, but, what I'm but in this yeah. city, we're they got every four, team quarterback's well, better it. than him right oh, now. Threat, I think that's egregious. But the threat the threat of Jalen Hurts was based off y'all running the ball. That's the threat of him. You're not going to just, with Jalen Hurts all game, if you can't run the ball, he's not a threat. You're a defender, though, right? Yeah. That offense to you looked it good? No. That, that scheme was, looked it good? When y'all couldn't run it the ball. It looked basic to me. Had a new was old, it not had a new basic? Yeah. This year. That can, um, listen, I, tell, I say this all the time. This is my, the people I think are the best players are the people who can be in scheme after scheme after scheme 
System after system will still be there. Mm. That's why I put me over a lot of people. Mm. I had <laughs> no seriously, no seriously, no, no, no. over Talk eight. No, listen, let me tell you something. Over an eight year span, over an eight year span, there's nine people who had five sacks or more for eight straight years. There's one D tackle on the list. I ain't gonna tell you who it is, but he might be sitting next to you. Oh, but shit. anyway, oh, shit. listen. <laughs> a eight year, listen, an eight year span. Let's go. An eight year span and one D tackle is on the list. One over an eight year span. Let me tell you what happened in eight year span. Raheem Morris, um, Lovey Smith, Greg Chiano. These are all the coaches. These are all my head coaches. Mm. I have four four different head coaches. And eight years. In eight years. And I had uh, five different D coordinators, 13 D line coaches. And, and you were the same And nothing system. ever changed for me. Now, let me ask you a question real quick off of that. Was there any of the coaches you felt unjustifiably got fired? Um, Like one where it's like, ah, I think we could have gave him enough. He deserved enough sneeze. No. Nah. <laughs> 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 no, like Raheem Morris. Raheem Morris is the head coach for Atlanta now. He had some maturing to do. Okay. Right? When you got players on your team older than you, and we landing back home, and you at the club before we get there, uh-huh. you can't do that as a head coach. Mm. He was just so young. But now he's matured. He got more kids. He didn't got married. He got so wait, 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 head coach was at the club? We would land in Tampa. This is my rookie year. We would land. Rookie in insane. second year. <laughs> we would land in Tampa. We would get in our car. We go. What we did. This is how I travel goes. What was your record? That this year? is how I travel goes. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> now get this. This is what I'm saying. Winning mask everything. So my rookie year, we went ten and six. We missed the playoffs because uh, Chicago lost a the game they didn't need to win. Mm. If they had won that game, we was in. But they set their players second half and all that. We was like, hey, we needed this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Destiny next year, wasn't in your own hands. The next point. year, we started four and two, doing the same thing he was doing. Partying, going out, yeah. guys doing whatever they wanted. We was having freestyle Fridays on Friday. <laughs> like, oh, when I tell you we was living it up. Who got bars in the locker we room? Be, we would be in walkthrough, right? We'd be in walkthrough. <laughs> he would call he would call up the group. Say, uh, let me tell you this story about so and so and so. We like getting prepared for a game. And he's stopping walk through to tell stories about different women. Yeah, this is what we yeah, yeah coach. <laughs> this is what we was going through. All right. And we were still was, winning. This, this, was, and this was early on in your career. This is so. my first and second year. And then it caught us. It caught us. But that year, we lost 10 straight after we started. So in the midst of that 10-game losing streak, is the locker room like, is y'all still seeing coach in the club and shit? Yeah. <laughs> is the locker, so is the locker room like, I ain't really feeling main man in the club. And Nobody, shit, the take thing it. is, we was all young. Yikes. Everybody was young. So Rondé everybody was a retired. young team. Yeah, we was all. No, Rondé was still there, but Rondé, Rondé he Barber. like did he did what he did what he do and he go home. I yeah. think Rondé Barber right. had a pick six that sent us home in the playoffs during the McNabb. Era. He did. So <laughs> as, a, as, a, as, a, as a number three yeah. uh, overall, right as yeah. a rookie. Is there is there any hazing involved that that goes on for you? There was hating, not hazing. Okay, mm. so I would have vet. We didn't have vets, but we had vets, but not guys you look up to. Like, oh man, he could teach. Yeah. So the first day, or no sacks rolling around. Yeah, there, man. I got you. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. we was so we had rookie mini camp. The first practice of so what happens is the rookies get drafted. They have their own mini camp, just rookies. All right. The next week they come with all the vets, the full team. First day we got out of practice, um, one of the older D tackles, he was like, "Hey, when you practicing, you know this off season, we don't really go all hard and stuff like that. This, this, and this. It's the NFL. I ain't been here. I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't trying to ruffle no feathers. Yeah. You get my work in, get back to the sideline. I go in. I'm going kind of half speed, whatever. I get fussed at. I'm getting yelled at by my coach. What you doing? That's not how we do. You in the NFL now? Yeah, 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 yeah. He lines you. He goes out there. He going. Dumb hard. I said, ah. Got I see how yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. I see how this is. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you just walked in at fifty-five mil. Main man yeah, probably. Yeah, like, Main man probably. Well, he, and he was a he was a high draft. He was a top five pick when he got drafted yeah. back in. He got drafted the same year as Pep. So two thousand two. Yeah. So yeah. so so he he on year what eight at that yeah, point? And he and the thing is, money what, probably what not what yours is, was. No. Yeah. So what happened? <laughs> so what happened is he yeah. tried to get his back in. in uh, what we say, get it back in blood. He tried to get it back in. All rookies have to do a rookie dinner. So um, I don't know how these kids do it now, but what we used to do is you go to dinner, 
and you kind of decide how it's going to be. It's either a big dinner or y'all go to the strip club or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had our first and second round pick that year was D-lineman. So our D-line dinner was like, and this is the old money. So it was like, you got a first and second round pick? Oh, they paid. We going to. Yeah, yeah. We had, we went to dinner. We flew in strippers from Miami, had hotel rooms, and they used our money to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> what was the? All right, all right, just you don't give me, have to give me the exact. But give me a roundabout tab for for that. Thirty beds. They just, used thirty thousand. That's just me. That, that was just your round. money. That's just me. That ain't the second round. So they spent a total oh, of fifty thousand. Oh nah. They got us. Oh nah. But I'm good because Des in that same year, Des spent fifty by himself mm. for Dallas. So you know what I'm saying. So I was like, I got thirty. I'm good. Do, do you have? Do you have any like uh, like? You're a vet now, mm-hmm. right? You have any rookies? Uh, like, what was your what was you your requirement? What my was your requirement? <laughs> me my, and Raw, your rookies, right? We coming in. Me and Raw, your rookies. Mm-hmm. What we gotta do? So here was my thing. Because I got treated that way, I said I'll never do this to nobody. So my only requirement was before and after practice, mandatory extra work with me. You gonna work your hands? You gonna work your feet? You gonna work your technique? You gonna go run with me? You gonna do something? I'll never ask you to go run an errand for me. I've asked a rookie to do one thing for me, and it was doing training camp like 2014-ish. I asked him to run to the corner store and grab me a grape soda, and I let him drive my car. Mm. That's the most I ever did. That don't sound like hate. That ain't nah, nah, so he ain't had so to grab any, no bag, so he had to carry no bags or nothing, nothing like that? I Who bags you had rookies? to carry? I did everybody's. I, I carried my teammates' bags, shoulder pads, and helmet until I retired. Word. From the time I was a rookie until I retired the Raiders, I carried that was like a routine team. of yours. It was There's no ego. No, well, because you can't, you got to be a great follower before you can lead. So if you got these rookies walking in and they see this six time Pro Bowler carrying helmets and show, they like, come on, let me get. I'm like, no, this is how I serve my teammates. Yeah. This is how, that's how you lead. Take some notes, bro. That's how you, that's how you, that's how you Take some notes. Yeah. So when they, when they doing this, it I'm makes them want, want you to it start makes carrying them my tool bag. <laughs> <laughs> it makes them want to work that much harder because they like this dude working hard and in my ladder. He going before, after practice, and he carrying everybody's stuff. Yeah. Hold on, Jay, because I, 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 I admire that, Jay. Yeah, my tool bag in my ladder. I'm your older bro. No, that should be something you, you should you, do. I, for me. I know you are my older bro, yeah. respectfully. But we're, we're talking about like a team form thing. So yeah. I, I'm the franchise. <laughs> so carry my hold toolbox, on, hold on, yeah. grab my bag. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hey, Was listen. there a better D lineman on your team than you? No. No. Okay. He carrying bags for all his teammates. Being a leader. Is there a bigger star in the Fro zone than Fro's? I don't I tell you what, we don't have a Sundays with Fro's. No, we don't. I gave you a little spin on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know I like you know I like golfing on Sundays. <laughs> my little brunch with my kids. Go ahead, you're a little yeah, yeah. Sunday. You're a player, be the All right. I'm a good team player. Now you said something that, that stood out to me. You said, hey, well, you know, they, they secondary wasn't that good. Well, that mm-hmm. leads me to a, a video that went viral last week. Darius Slay yeah. was sitting with a, another player, Steven Nelson, mm-hmm. and they were talking about how the the boos from the Philly fans affect the players negatively. Yeah. Like, like boos don't help nobody. Now, I responded to Darius Slay. I don't know mm-hmm. if you saw We had a back and forth on Twitter. He like froze you with the BS too because my response was, "We're not going to boo mediocrity. I mean, we're not going to cheer for mediocrity. Right. So if you give up three third downs on a pose- on the same possession, mm-hmm. you want me to cheer for that or you want me to just be quiet?" Yeah, I used to have a different mindset. I used to be like, "Man, I used to feel the same way." But then that I Darius Slay felt. Yeah, like stop all the booing. I even we I got into it with a lot of fans when I was in Tampa because I mean, obviously we weren't winning, so we got booed a lot. But then I started thinking, they are coming to watch you play, and you're giving them a horrible product. At a concert, battle rap, don't matter. Booze are coming out. When Dave Chappelle said he got booed, I'm like, okay. Then I changed my mind on it. I was just like, just it's part of the game. You take the booze or you just keep going. They don't say nothing about the cheers? Yeah. You take the, the booze or you just keep going. I get it. NBA, NFL, ML, it don't matter. Giving them a horrible product and they're with you regardless. You just take the booze and you move on. I used to, I used to feel just like him, like, dang, y'all are boy, y'all ain't putting in the work. But then yeah. I said, you know what? They hear every week. They, they. 
buying your jersey, they so I get it. So it's even seven, up to six, seven, seven, eight hundred dollar yeah. outing coming yeah. to watch you play. Yeah, yeah because yeah. well, because they charge us a hundred dollars for parking. They charge us forty dollars for the mm-hmm. ticket. They charge us sixty dollars for a soda. I'm gonna get a thumb thirsty. Right, right. So I, I, we pay top dollar to see no, you guys change, play. Uh, yeah, that's right? what made me change. Fifteen my for the hot moment. dogs. Fifteen for the hot dogs. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and bros get two of them. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, I, a, it's the deal. But for me, <laughs> soda. <laughs> it comes but, with the soda. But for me, I'm not born because I don't like you. Right. I, I, I'm born because I like you. Because yeah, I, yeah. I expect something right, out of you. Right. You play for our team. You know, I believe in you. I'm rocking with you. And I don't care. I, I don't mind. If you ain't got no safety Listen, over the top, what? I don't look, expect look, you to be look, running look, look, like you do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you get smoked on a double move, I'm not mm-hmm. bowling. You got cooked. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? But if you get in comeback routes, they yeah. throwing, they do a right. five-yard hit, yeah. swing routes. Nothing. You ain't you can't do shit. Yeah. Tackle somebody. Do right. something. Get a penalty. Yeah, do, yeah. Do, just show me you care a little bit. Steven Nelson was here for one year. He said in his first game, or at the first couple games, he knew he had to get out of Philly immediately. He said, because because of the booze yeah, and shit. It they ain't had, for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's not Philly for or football. No, good question. All of it. Good question. <laughs> All of it. Because to me, as so a regular about, person, yeah. like I would say, and and like, oh, I don't like you to boo. That sounds kind of soft to me, bro. Yeah. I'm well, keep it. I'm going to be Well, here's the, the thing. Here's the thing. We're, I went to uh, the Bucks play the Cowboys. While I was living in Dallas. And I said, you know what? I'm going to sit in the stands this time. I'm not going to sit in the suite and I'm going to the field. I sat in the second row and just sat and listened. With the people. With the people. To the fans. And, I mean, just kind of listened to what they were saying. And the stuff that fans say about players. <laughs> I told them, I said, hey, bro, y'all have no idea what they're saying about us. Yeah. They're bad. bad. <laughs> bro, they was talking so bad about Dak. It was, rid- bro, they was killing everybody. And one dude turned around and was like, Gerald, you know Dak, huh? I was like, yeah. He was like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, bro, when I tell you, y'all are insane. Yeah. The stuff yeah. y'all say about us is good. Yeah. No, I, and I was nah, sitting there listening, and I was just laughing. And a lot of them was apologizing because I had my son with me. We, but we had a conversation a couple weeks ago about how we'll say something like about professional athletes or or just you know celebs. For example, like he like give me a basketball player you don't like. I'm like I'm not, I hate Devin Booker, and he's like why? <laughs> what don't you like? <laughs> right, right. And I'm like. I don't know. It's like, yo, but about. no, but we, that, we got in a conversation of how yeah. shitty it is yeah. because mm-hmm. it's like, yo, Dev Booker might actually be a great dude. Yeah. He yeah. might give back great his father. community. Bro, he right. might be a great you know, right. the, you know what the basketball <laughs> games, the guys that do the trampoline dunks? Yeah. He just brought Trample. all of them. He just brought all of them. No, the ones that, the, that be at the game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He mm-hmm. just brought all of them his brand new shoes to give to them so they could do their stuff in there. He ain't got to do that. No, he yeah. don't. Yeah, he don't. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, as fans, you do have to check yourself at some point. Yeah. Y'all are human beings. Y'all are people. And I feel like we we treat you guys more like product. You know what yeah, I mean? But, but hold on, though, because whether we like it or not, it's part of the profession. That's what come with. That's it. what makes you That's a why, professional. You said, you said football, or Philly, all of it. It's not for everybody. Is it, y'all, man? Listen, training camp is one of the most grueling things you'll go through because it's the same thing over and over and over again. And you have to remember you're preparing for a season, so you have to essentially play a game every day. Yeah. Every day, so you got to mentally be prepared to for a horn going off at eight a.m. And you straight to it with the best athletes in the world. Training Every camp. day, training and camp. These are also dudes trying to make teams. This is guys trying to make so teams. It's, it's yeah. Bubble going. guys. It's yeah. Guys are trying to get a career to this get an athlete on the line. for this, bro. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it ain't for everybody. If it was, everybody would do it. Um, talk, walk me through. Um, do you ever do you ever uh, resonate with any of the rookies or the, uh, the undrafted walk-ons or stuff like that? Walk me through cut day. Like, you know, when you got a dude that you was rooting Something for. Something you ain't never he had to deal have, with. He might have even been good enough to make the team, mm-hmm. but he, he just didn't make the team. Like, is that a tough one the, the worst cut I've probably seen, usually, um, so the rules changed as the CBA went changed. Usually it was like cut down so many people every so many weeks until the fourth pre- preseason game. You only got so many players. The ones is not playing, so guys might play. I remember one time, it's like 2012. We had a guy. He played in that game. He played safety, running back, and corner. Mm. And he had just got brought in that week. 
But he was like, shoot, I'm trying to make a team. I'll play whatever y'all want. <laughs> I'll so kick this bitch. One, yeah, I'm telling you. you. So, one of, so one of the, that's when it was still getting cut down per week. But then it became, you get to the building. The goal was to get to the building on final cuts. But then they made it to where even if you get to the building, you get through team meeting, you got to get through practice. We had a guy, we were in stretching, warm-ups. We were in the middle of stretching. And our cut guy, we called him the Grand Reaper. He came and tapped him on his shoulder in the middle of warm-ups. Walked him off the field. In the middle of warm-ups. Didn't you guys, weren't you guys on hard knocks? Yeah. I think I remember the Grim yeah, Reaper dude. Of, was yeah, he was yeah. he in hard knocks? Sheldon Quarles. Yeah, yeah, I remember. He was <laughs> I remember on the Bucks. He was on crazy. the like but famous Bucks defenses. Yeah. It was Sheldon Quarles. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Call him the Grim Reaper. All right. Special teams coach that year. Because I remember seeing a clip. It was one of my favorite clips from uh from hard from hard knocks. And it was his coach. He was in there with special teams. teams. Coach, and he told boy, he said, you're not good enough to be an asshole. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what he told him. You know, it's, some, it's some crazy stuff that go on. But I, we was uh, we left practice, we left workouts one day, or OTAs. We was like, hey, man, let's, I forget what movie it came out. I was like, man, let's go see the movie. We went to the movie. Dude went with us. Right when the movie about to start, he started. He got up. He was like, all right, fellas, I'm going to get out of here. We was like, dang, bro, movie started. He was like, oh, yeah, they just cut me. Damn. I was like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 real quick, because I want to ask him some battle rap shit, right? I feel like. All right, well, like, hold on. Now I got some super chats for right, him. Okay. Oh, before, yeah. Before you Let's get to get that, it. real quick, real quick. Who wins Twerk versus Big K and why? Any stage. All right, before you answer that. Okay. Uh, before, answer that. before you answer that, because I, I want to just kill this last football question, because I got to know. I got more football questions now. I need to get out of here. Yeah. So I got to know. No, we got, let's see, we got. Oh, we straight. Uh, um, yeah. Is the fans of Philadelphia, the Eagles, right? uh-huh. like when you in that locker room and you know free mm-hmm. agency ready to like come up, right? Are we a part of a reason why uh, uh, an athlete might not come play for the Eagles? Nah, nah, nah it ain't that shit. It ain't us. It ain't that shit. You, nah. Our media. What about our media? No, nah. You because you don't know the thing. Is, you hear about it, but you don't know until you in it. So is is Philadelphia a free agent? Destination street. Absolutely. Word. Y'all not, bro, y'all not y'all just had a rough season. But y'all still okay. You get a bad rep though. Like you just said, yeah, the myth is what? true. Like the myth is true. The fans, how crazy we are. Well, it's not I mean, is it a myth? Is it a bad rap or is it a fact? Well, no, it's both. I think it's a fact. Are New York women aggressive? Yo, oh my God. <laughs> exactly. Like burrow, okay. Right? So <laughs> so are you are you like, oh, you can't say that about us. You can't say why? It's the truth. New York women are overly aggressive. New York women. Bro, I stopped to get New breakfast York. in the airport one time. And she walked, the lady, the waitress walked up. She was like, yeah, what can I get you for breakfast? I'm like, hey, relax. Can I get a pancake? Yeah. So, so a New York woman would tell you SMD. Yeah. <laughs> they will say that to you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so yes. when you say on that super, who will win in the battle, twerk or who? Yes. Twerk or who? Twerk or Big K. Um, I love Big Any K. Any stage and why? I love him, but. I don't think there's an instance when Twerk is on his A game where Big K can beat Twerk on no stage. Who's your top five? Like who's who's your top five battles? Uh, I stopped watching it all yet. It just got cool. Well, your favorite. So give me your favorite. You've been out the culture for a little bit. I said yeah, like you got back a little bit. I, said, yeah. I just said that to him. That, is, it the, is, is, is it the media? No, it ain't the media. It's the whole culture. It just got corny. It became more about who's sleeping with who and this and this and that and that instead of who's really good at rapping. Like, I enjoy, and we had this conversation, mm-hmm. and I'm going to say it here for people who didn't hear, the art of rapping. I used to hear Cassidy talk about the science. The art of rapping, of uh, rhyming, I learned from Froze. You did an interview, and you said, I'm one of the best rhymers in battle rap. And I'm like, well, I mean, these guys who write really good, so I want to knock him, but then you broke it down. He was like, no, literally rhyming words. Just because something sounds alike doesn't mean it rhymes. Right. I'm talking about like word for word, just three syllables. I'm rhyming three syllables. Mm-hmm. That don't happen no more. Right. We don't learn the art of being what rapping is no more. It's Man, about, you said that. And everybody, and everybody. I don't get credit listen. for being one of the best rhymers <laughs> now, in listen, battle rap. Rhymers. Where's the separation in, in the talent? Rappers are not the battle rappers anymore. Battle rappers are battle rappers. That mm-hmm. makes sense. 
Verb was rapping before he started battle rap. Yes. People yes. like that, they were rapping yes. before yes. they started. Yes. The yes. Calico yes. was yes. rapping yes. before he battled. Now battle yes. rappers are literally <laughs> battle rappers. Fans, yeah. Yeah. fans who yeah. said, I want a battle rap. Yeah. The most successful person like that is conceited. And where is he at now? He's right. gone. Right. He got what he wanted out of battle rap and he left. He didn't do this because I want to be the best battle rapper. He was doing it because I feel like if I'm good at this, he can get me somewhere else. Yep. Guys are literally fans like Eunice. And Eunice is extremely talented, but he was in the spaces and they heard him rap. And he Eunice not rap rap. He's yeah. a battle rapper. Yeah. And that's fine. He's talented. Yeah. But and that's, that's, why why are, that's why these dudes are no, sounding no, no, alike. No, 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 no. That's why Damn. everybody sounded alike. Because yeah. yeah. anybody can do it yeah. now. Before rappers used to battle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Rappers, yeah. Used, yeah. To used to rappers battle. Used to now battle. these dudes now, are being born now, battle rappers. Battle yes. rap now. Yes. People yes. are literally Bro, saying, ten years ago. Oh man, I want a battle rap. Ten Not years I want to rap. If you remember when you started, right when we when we uh, when we got on Smack Raw. It was to get the exposure. We wanted a, mo- we wanted a music get, deal. To get somewhere else. That's it wasn't, it wasn't that's too what we yeah. 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 When we were in the PG yeah. the doors, we're like, all right, we're going to do five URL battles, <laughs> and we're going to drop an hour. That's what everybody <laughs> That was the goal. That was, yeah. that was the goal. Wanted, to no. be a rapper. Yeah. Take this gas, for sure. But it was like, shoot, if I can, if I can get these raps off and show how good I am versus right. these other guys, yeah. that'll make the labels come and say, hey, let me see what you can do over here. Because yeah. you rap really well over here. Let me see what you can do over More here. Hip-hop, now, more hip-hop. Guys don't care. Battle rap. Was more hip hop ten years, and that's why that golden era was so great because yeah. everybody, Verb, Hitman, Calico, X Factor, Midwest Miles, K. Their Shot. wave is part of the golden era. Yeah, that's what, well, yeah. him too. Uh, yeah, him, the John, John, Q, B, J, C, B, Magic, yeah. Bill Collector. These all, all these dudes that I just named have their own identity. That's the, yeah. it's their funny. own. Bill Collector wasn't really a battle rapper, no. And when I first uh, discovered him, you know, he was. When I heard him rap, it was on beats. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, he fire. Like, That's he can why he rap. can do those, uh, That's, what's, his, what's the league? The Verbal, Verbal Warzone. Warfare? Yeah, yeah. Verbal Warzone. Warzone. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Verbal Warzone. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and that, that's crazy because I, I'll tell you what. Me and my he, man Cash Capone be running things over yeah, there. Yeah, he do. Yeah, my, my cousin. Me and uh, bros be talking about it all the time. It's like, yo, I still love it, mm-hmm. but there's a, something's off. Bro, I said, off and this is, no, this is no There knock. was four events this weekend. Mm-hmm. I purchased the Queen of the Ring event. I purchased everything. I didn't watch it. Just so we clear. I didn't watch it. For all, listen, for all, to just so y'all know how much I love Battle Rap and am a supporter, I purchase every event. I don't watch every event, but I still pay. Any event I've ever been to, any event y'all have ever seen me on stage, I've always purchased the pay-per-view and the ticket. We fans. Every Send me that time I watch it. Send me that log and I Any league that. owner will vouch for this. <laughs> we call him, but he purchases a ticket and I purchase the pay per views just because I support Battle Rap. But, bro, I was watching. Um, I just finished watching uh, Chef Trez and Fonz, which was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, who else was on that car? What's the battle that dropped before that? Um, this was a UW car, right? No, no, no. no this, this was, was uh, this on the app. It's yeah. on the app. Um, I know, t- I know T-Top and Snake Eyes was on No, the it was the one after that. Chat, which one is it? Just look it up. I got the app. It's <laughs> easier. But, you know, th- what I will say is, Jerry, because I've seen a comment, I don't necessarily think it's dying. I think an era is coming to an end. Yeah, right? no, I think, it, not I think it's going to continue. It's just evolving. For us, though, the people who remember those. Oh, yes, JC and J2. They say J2 won. <sighs> okay. I don't think he won. Because I could I could barely get through it because it was so much this and this and this and this and this and build up like this and this and this and build up like this and this and JC this 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 and this like and I'm like bro how many times are you gonna do this over and over and over and even though he might be saying something that sounds good that I can't do. I can't listen to that for too long because mm-hmm. everybody's doing it. Can't and then the way out, JC was putting it together, it was like, okay, that's different. Yeah. So I, I won't say that J2 didn't win, but I didn't have him winning personally. If the consensus had him winning, cool, he won. I didn't have him winning personally because everybody sound the same. Yeah. There's a, there's a way to – like, there's literally a how to battle rap one-on-one now. Yeah. Back then, yeah. Pros had his own style. Yep. 
JC had his own style. Yep. Even though JC, they say, he kind of sounded like Ice Pack a little bit, it still was different. Yeah, it was. It Every, was how do you have uh, Bird, Hitman, Ice Pack, B-Magic all in the same city and nobody rapping that? Yep, yep. Now, you can there's the literally thing. a blueprint to how to rap. You can do the same thing with the Michigan dudes. You can do the same thing yeah. with them. Cal, Miles and X-Factor sounded nothing no, alike. QP. Nothing. They don't sound as no. Mark Calico, Quest. They don't sound nothing alike. No. Me and Bill are the polar opposites. Yeah. That's what right. I said. Yeah, Ill, and then Ill Will came in with his style. He don't sound nothing like nobody. That's yeah, what no, I'm saying. Like, it's, just, it's just every... There's literally a blueprint. And it's all started... I'm going to give him his credit. A lot of people don't want to give him his credit. This all started with Perez Mafia. People started copying this PG. You remember the PG step? This right here. Remember I hated step? that. Man. I hated it. Yo. Yeah. And it, I, I and you hated know, that it. Ruined it. Year after that, yeah. everybody was rapping like it. Yeah. And yeah. doing that. Prez Mafia, it started with Prez. Mm. And it went to Nitty. And it went to Twerk. Yeah. Twerk is so explosive. Yeah. That they said, if that's what. And this is, the, this is a known mm. fact. There is a battle rapper who I spoke to on the phone who told me. That there's an employee at URL who does a lot of the booking. <laughs> I won't say he's one of the higher ups, but I will say he does a lot of the booking. Yeah. I won't put it. I mean, yeah. if you put two or two yeah. together. His name might be the letter of an alphabet <laughs> in the alphabet. He told this particular battle rapper, Maybe why I'm... would you rap like this if this is what everybody else is doing and this is what works? Oh, that's hard. He news. told him, don't be original. Be like this because this is what everybody's doing. This is what people like. And that and and, and that and not, not, and not, that particular battle rapper is no longer around. I'm just saying. And the, and the, and the funny thing about that is, there's been a there was a period a two three year period where all the new talent was doing that. Yeah, Sounding everybody. One That's because way. all of them were coming in being told do it like this. This is what this is that, how you rap. That last and that's not that's not how you survive. The last event that gave me that real. That real authentic battle rap feel was the last Max album. Yeah, that was the last event that gave that me that was, real and before authentic that, battle be, rap vibe. Be, before that, I think the one before that was the first trenches. Maybe it was either first mm. or second trench. The first trenches, mm. maybe that little pit feel. Yeah, that was a good card. But that Max out, that Max out three. Yeah, you was in the building. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I had a Jerry McCoy bar. You did. Yeah, it was fire. It was tough. Jerry McCoy bar. It was, it was just crazy. <laughs> Which is crazy because I had just got there, and I was about to like go to the camera. <laughs> I was about to go right stab. I just don't like being on camera. Like a lot of people think because I don't watch battle rap as much anymore, I'm not into it. My handprint is not still on battle rap. There's a lot of battles you guys are gonna see. Anyway, <laughs> so I was there. I just don't it? like being on camera. I just right. don't like being on camera. But when he said that, I was literally right off camera when he said, I was like, dang, that would have hit harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> right yeah, here. yeah. Yeah, they hit a little yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> that was a versus uh, Charlie Clips? Yeah. Or Jag? No, no that was versus Jag. Jag. Yeah. Jag. Yeah. Versus Jag. Yeah. A fire battle, too. Yeah, shout out to Jag. Shout out to yeah. Jag. Um, so, where do you, so, so if you see, do you, does that mean you think the lack of entertainment from battle rap, like, because right now we're in March, it's been slow. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I don't know if it's going to pick up. Like, right. I think I think we'll I have, like, those one-off events yeah. where it's, like, we're all dialed into this I think, event. I think people took smack saying the money's not recoupable uh, as being, oh, well, we ain't got money. No, they got money. It's just if they can't recoup the money from what's happening, they're not going to spend it. They're right. still a business. People forget battle rap as much as all that uh, smack started and bees and all those guys and then everybody, uh, ARP and organic and – and uh, what's my man over at uh, I Battle? Lex. Lex. Lex and every, all Shout out to I Battle. All of y'all. Everything that they've done to give us entertainment is still a business. The NFL is a business. Yes, we love watching Patrick Mahomes throw touchdowns. It's still a business. We love watching LeBron score 40,000 points. It's still a business. He is. Not a rap. Is still a business, so if you can't recoup, so glad you yeah, said yeah, that, man. Get out here real quick. Y'all can try. Yeah, right? yeah, I, can tr I was ready for finish. it. Don't worry. I was ready I, for it. Yeah, yeah, please. please. If go he, ahead. if they can't recoup the money they're giving out, that's what he's saying. It's still a business. If if you guys are not entertaining enough or bringing in enough money, we can't keep paying all these big checks. Well, I think his he the, the biggest statement wasn't that uh, the money's not recoupable. He told you 
He said, I'm going to do what I can with what, what I got. What I got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Yeah. Now, LeBron James. Mm-hmm. Well, you seem to not think he's the GOAT. He's the best basketball player, but he's not the greatest basketball player. To me, that's a diff- there's a difference in – who Jordan is, his aura, everything he did, how he did it, makes him the greatest. LeBron is the best, top to bottom. He's the best person to ever pick up a basketball. Okay. And I'll I just separate that. the two. That's fair. Yeah, but I like, separate at the 38, two. 39. I'm no, there's no argument to be had there. I won't look for one. You got one? He's still. Bro, I was, I, for my birthday, I was in Phoenix. I watched, I sat courtside and watched him versus the Suns when he was getting in fast breaks. Mm-hmm. The side he was dunking on, I was sitting right there. So I seen this this dude at thirty eight be able to do this at the level he's doing it. Now I, I, just, I just look think at myself. We have a hard time, like Mike, his the the prestige of it. I think we just have a hard time putting something over that. But you don't, you can't leave statistic, statistically in like almost every category and, and and still have a hard time calling him the goat. Well, I think KD's the greatest scorer of all time, and he don't have 40,000 points. But so I could argue Steph, with And Steph, not even top 30. That's what I'm saying. So if you if you take, okay, if you take, if you have to pick, LeBron has 40,000 points. But if you pick who you want to go score for you, are you picking 10 people before LeBron? 10? I don't know if I got 10. To just go score the basketball. Yeah, yeah. If we got 40,000, of course we can score the basketball. Are you picking 10 people to go score before? I don't him? know about 10. I maybe, maybe. If I need a bucket? Yeah. So I'm taking Kobe. Mello. Mello. I'm taking Kobe. Kobe. I'm taking KD. KD. I'm taking Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson. What about um, T Mac? Taking Mac. Not what taking about Mac. Jordan? Over a bucket? No. Michael Jordan. Uh, look, look, get me a bucket. Dirt. Yeah, I'm taking I don't dirt. Have a problem with dirt. I'm taking dirt. Look, you see how he's still I'm going? Dirt. Yeah, come on. Uh, you see how he's still get going? Get me a bucket. Get me a bucket. That has nothing to do with LeBron being able to score the basketball. Yeah, I need a bucket. No, no, I got another one. You, you got to get a bucket, look, no, Shaq. Yeah, look, look, look. Get a ball to Shaq. This, this is going to be unpopular because his off off the court, nobody likes him as much. I'm going Paul Pierce if I need a bucket. Thank you. I'm going Paul Pierce if I need a bucket. Come on, get a bucket. Go get me a bucket. I, I'm like, now I need it. Look at all these Like, people. now I need a bucket. Right now, it. go get it. Prime D-Wade. Mm. Let me get a bucket, D-Wade. Let me get a bucket. I need Prime D, I need it this bucket. It has to happen. We don't average 30 for our career. Well, he's mastered. The thing is, what comes with LeBron is not just, I can do all this. LeBron wins. One, I don't think people understand his stature. And he's still freakishly athletic. But LeBron is a large human. Not only that, he's arguably the smartest person to ever step on the court. That's why. So I was he doing. puts himself in position. Like, and when, as I got older in football, as my athleticism started to go away, I used to put myself in position to win. That's where the IQ came in. So I know, okay, this is two by two, running backs here to the left. I know I'm getting the protection going away. I got the one on one. But wait a minute, he's sitting behind the quarterback. This ain't a pass. This is a run. Let me tighten down because what they like to do is bring this tight end back and the line's going that way. So let me tighten down, put myself in position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, when I put my hand on him, oh, boy, yeah, when yeah, I put yeah, my yeah. hand on him, all he's going to do, he's not going to push me. He's just going to try and bump. But I also have to know, is the linebacker here or is the linebacker here? Are we in the seven-man front? Are we in the eight-man front? Yeah. That matters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, LeBron yeah. is the best at that. Well, I know that you send somebody here, you can switch here. Yeah, so as soon as you go to switch, boom, I'm gone. But, but hold That's on. what I'm saying. Because you'll even see chat be like, man, y'all wild. And it, it doesn't mean LeBron's not better than the players we named. That's uh, what I'm saying. But, but – I, I was but he him. talked about the he's, statistics. I was saying, I'm hold not, on. I was saying, we I didn't agree ar- with all those names. We had an, that's fine, but we had an argument not that long ago about a similar to- topic. About they said LeBron James is top three clutch players of all time, and I disagree. Yeah, right. And I just disagree. Yeah. And I said the reason is not because he hasn't made game winning plays when the game was on the line. I said Bron's the type of player that's going to make the right play. Mm-hmm. So what I mean by that is if Mario Chalmers is over here in this corner right. wide open, Bron's going to throw it yeah. to him. And and I every defense and every defense. Hold on, hold on, Gerald. And every defense would rather. Chalmers shoot a wide open shot yeah. than see LeBron yeah, so shoot a contested shot. Yeah, but course. nine times out of ten, LeBron's gonna swing it. Yeah. Right now. 
right now. If you need a bucket, are you giving the ball to LeBron James or Kawhi Leonard? Oh, I'm Michael with the call. You see the point? No, I am. Now, is he better than LeBron? No. That's no. the point I'm making. No. So people take it like no. top to bottom. That's nobody that's better than LeBron. But you talked about his points. Yes, it's hard to do what he's been doing. But there are people yeah. that I would take in that statistic over him. That don't make him the greatest scorer. He's just been consistent doing what he does. But Jordan did what he did at a better, higher level for shorter. And he averaged more. If Even with the Wizards, he still averaged 30 for a career. Even with the Wizards. Before the Wizards, he was averaging 33 points a game. <laughs> 33! <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, and I was, like, Jordan, what he did is because of how he, like, LeBron, 10 finals. Incredible. Jordan had six. He won six. It's just some things Jordan did. It's just like all them awards in 88, he won MVP. This, this, So we're going to have the same problem. We're going to have the same problem putting Pat, Pat Mahomes over Tom Brady. Yes, if, because think about it. Everybody talks about it. Like, people are putting Pat Mahomes like, oh, he's the greatest. He's top this and this. I think people are forgetting Tom Brady started fast, too. The difference years. is the difference is Tom was a game manager to start his career, but he did have three Super Bowls in four years. Yeah, and then he had a ten year break before he won his next one. So before we start putting Mahomes over Brady, let's let him start winning a little more. Well, he's well, starting fast, but if he slow, he's got three already, right? Have we seen? Here's the difference right? to me. He's got three. He's right got now. three, but here's the difference. He's been to in me. the AFC title game. Mm -hmm. Since he took over as a yes. starter, right? Yes. He has not done less than the AFC title game. Okay, hear, hear me out. So that's six seasons right. of, of AFC title or better. Mm -hmm. I mean, So bro, here's the partnership. Everybody puts, crazy. everybody puts Belichick with Brady, right? How many offenses did Belichick call? Like during the uh, – He's not an run? offensive coordinator. No, he's, he's a defensive, defensive coach. coach. Yeah, right? facts. Brady was Brady in all these different offenses. Yeah. He still was Brady. We he was have taking guys not like seen Patrick Mahomes without Andy Reid. We have not seen it. Yeah, but we Andy Reid has not had a bad quarterback yet. Well, you know we, why? Because it, it's though. the Andy Reid system. We, we we also seen him. How did they beat y'all last year? And he threw for 185 yards. But we've also seen him with receivers. How on did they leg. beat y'all last year? On one leg. He threw for 185 yards and one leg. On the How? Same play. They were scoring touchdowns. You know the why? Play. The system. I'm not taking from. I'm that, not that taking two from. touchdowns on that motion. On that they, mo ran. Yeah. they cooked this twice on the yeah. same that's play. That's play calling. That sprint motion yeah. and then and then the run out. How and did yeah, they beat yeah. Sam Darius Fran Slay got smoked on that. Darius Slay, you got smoked on that. <laughs> everybody, everybody said, "Oh, Kansas City ain't this. Kansas City ain't that." People underestimate Andy Reid and what he's able to do and how they're vets. Patrick Mahomes played phenomenal, but. Everybody underrates the play call. You think Andy Reid a better coach than Belichick? <sighs> it can be point. argued. It can be argued for sure. It can be argued because <laughs> Belichick, all of his stuff, he had Brady. Yeah, we've seen Andy Reid with a lot of different quarterbacks. Now they ain't winning Super Bowls. But they, they make it. They making Pro Bowls. Yeah, yeah. They're winning games. They going to the Super Bowl. Let me hold you down real quick, Gerald. So I see. I see two people who keep saying, "Who is this? Who is this?" You can't just say NFL legend. So I'm talking about three time, two, three time All Pro. Yes. Six time well, Pro Bowl. Four technically. Four technically. Yes, yes, don't yes. shorty. I want to shorty none. Six Pro Bowls. Yes. Right. We're, we're talking about that guy, uh, Gerald uh, McCoy, uh, defensive rookie of the year, right? Number three pick in the draft. Who was? That's what we're talking about. I, now, I, I, they say football <laughs> players aren't as recognizable as basketball players because of the helmet. Because of the helmet, yeah. Do, do you like that? That you can walk and people want? Yeah, I, I do to a point. But I'm sure in Tampa, like, like in Tampa, probably people recognize you everywhere. Everywhere. But sometimes, like for me, um, it was hard to be marketable in Tampa because we wasn't winning. Like, think about it. Y'all might have known Mike Evans. Everybody knows. Evans, but Mike Evans has been put on a pedestal since when? Since Brady showed up. Because mm -hmm. now the lights on. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. A lot of players in Tampa. Then you go back and realize he's had a thousand seasons. Every year. A, a thousand lot of yards. players in Tampa. <laughs> Every year he's been a, in the league. A lot of players in Tampa got very recognizable yeah. when they had five primetime games a year when Brady was there. That's yeah. what happened For sure. when you have the lights. That's why anybody who's successful as a Cowboy is going to have the hot, the, what the you think up about, uh, on awards. What you think about your quarterback now, Baker Mayfield? You think they signed him long term? Not long term, but he'll probably get a two year deal. Or stop gap. He got some dog in him. Went yeah. to football games. Yeah, he'll battle. probably get a two year deal. Not but here's the thing Eagles. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if he goes back if Mike don't go back. Mm. Why wouldn't Mike go back? Mike, why, Mike would Mike, why would Mike go back <laughs> to Tampa and struggle to win when he could go to. They, a lot of people don't think about this. You got to look at where people's off-season homes are, where they spend most of their time. Mike lives in Houston. Oh, he going out there with CJ? CJ Shroud. Is he going out there with CJ? Houston That's has a man. lot of money to spend. He can go to a team that is on the up and up, yeah. and, he don't have, and, he, and he don't have to kill himself. Word. And he got a guaranteed baller at quarterback. Well, hold on now. That was a stud. Hold on now. We got to do it twice, don't we? You said that. I didn't say he was elite. Okay. He's a baller. You're, okay. Right. Elite. He likes Stroud over Earth. <laughs> yeah, he does. Huh? He likes, he's a, you're a Stroud guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jalen Hurts? Yes. Right. Who's the undertone? Who's the undertone? Who's the undertone? Because he just the guy. Right, the, the guy I mean, because. He was in the Jake. Super Bowl he, two years ago, I mean, right? I mean, the guy the guy just came in second in the MVP race a year ago. All right? They had an all-season new offense. Tell me this. Is Nick Sirianni. It's funny because funny he talks like. It's funny that he's defending him is like Nick, this towards you because this is how he talked about him, too. Is, well, because he made me sick this season. <laughs> is Nick Sirianni the problem right now or is Jalen Hurts the problem? Jalen Hurts is not the problem. I never say he's the problem. Um, I think a lot of what the team was getting away with. The head coaches are like, oh, we'll be good because we win it. But when you lose a guy like Jason Kelsey, a lot's going to change. Well, hold on. He's, he know. said he was coming back. Is he, he coming back? Yeah, he didn't retire. He said he was he coming back. He didn't officially yeah. retire. But they were saying he might want to go play with his brother. When you lose a guy not. like Jason Kelsey or Fletcher Cox. And Brandon Graham. And Brandon Graham. Yeah, but, but, but. A lot of people don't understand, man. When, you, when we give credit to when we give credit to these coaches, them block them players is holding their team together. It's, Brady said that team would have fell apart years ago if he wasn't there. Because guys, the Patriots, the guy, yeah, guys hated being there. Brady held it together. They, uh, Brady kept telling them, "Hey, listen, I know it's tough, but we're going to win." And they kept winning. Sometimes you need your bets to hold together, but it definitely ain't Jalen Hurts. It's not him. Is Jordan Davis going to be a game changer? Oh, I think you got to ask about Jalen Carter before Jordan I, Davis. I think he showed more prom, uh, way more promise than Jordan Davis. Uh, game changer? It's going to be. It's going to be a bust. He's not going to be a game changer. Well, they said. He, I never thought Jordan Davis was all that in college or before this. What about Carter? Yes. He's serious. He's a guy. He's a guy. He's a guy. Carter is yeah. a guy. Do you think Jordan bounce? Davis? I never, I never, I never bought into the hype. Mm. A big guy that can run fast. Go watch the tape. Just How do you feel about tape. drafting guys from the same school like that? Like what that what's much? up with this Georgia Bulldog shit? Like we got like eleven of them. Sometimes you get you get a NFL pipeline where you know this person and they know them and they got this and all oh, that correlates to winning. Yeah, y'all drafted the guy who destroyed the combine last year and didn't even use it. Mm. Watch the tape. What does the tape tell you? I did. I had a horrible combine. Every NFL meeting I went into, they said, "Man, we ain't care about the numbers. Watch this." And they showed me, "Look at what you're doing to people. <laughs> Forget running fast and all that. Look at what you're doing to people. If you're doing it in the game, do you think I care if you can run over a bag? Look at what you're doing when it counts." Now, now being a D tackle, did you? Was there any offensive lineman that like? Made your job tough, like when you you know coming th- into this city. Zach Martin, mm. Cowboy, tell you, and Fletcher will tell you. You play for Cowboys, Fletcher will tell you. Mm. Zach is hell to deal with. Crom gonna lie to that. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> hey, listen, Zach is hell to deal with because here's how the structure of offensive line works, and I'm sure y'all have been in a few, yeah, you know, a few scuffles. A few, a few. Do you put your your Person with the most hands on the outside, or you put them in the middle? With the most hands? If y'all are getting surrounded. No, he's got the, the person. On the outside. No, the per- exactly. He's got the hands. The person that you know, hey man, we don't look he at he might space. get dropped. Yeah. 
he might get dropped. Oh, we got to be shoulder to shoulder. You got to we'll protect him. <laughs> Jason Kelsey is a rarity. Usually your center is your worst blocker. Your guards are your second worst athletes, and your tackles are your best athletes because they're in space. What makes Zach Martin so great, he has left tackle athleticism and size at the guard position. Mm. So you're giving a guy who has no issues moving in space – and you're putting them in a box. Mm. Y'all heard it here first. Zach Marston used to bust his ass, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. We had we had some battles, but yeah, he, he was held to deal with. That was somebody you, you you were you knew it was gonna be a rumble that day. He was held to deal with, man. Jari Evans. Jari Evans, I'm pretty sure, is gonna make the Hall of Fame. He was the right guard for Drew Brees and the Saints for a lot of years. You think you got Hall of Fame? I would say, do you got Canton, Ohio? You think, I think I do. I think I think I do, but would have hurt me. Um, I think if I get in, I'll be one of them like eighty year olds that's on the stage where they like, yeah, just put them in. At that point, keep but, it. Right? Yeah, but the reason being, I didn't win, and that's not my fault. But I didn't win. And now, now being that Sue went number two, do y'all have like was that always been a rival? To the media, me and Sue was cool. We text each other like, man, they tripping. We we lay on. <laughs> they just put us against each other, like, bro. Was he, he and Sue used to go play pool together. Was like, he as crazy as they made him seem off the field? Man, that is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> he African, man. You know that crazy? Right, let me ask you this. So, um, Darius Slay last year, mm-hmm. during our meltdown, we switched D coordinators. Yeah. And he went and got a knee procedure. And the meat and potatoes of the mm-hmm. season. And we all, everybody knew that him and Patricia didn't get along. Yeah. And he literally announced the knee procedure the week that they switched yeah. defensive coordinators. It now there were a lot of people saying that's something that could have waited to the offseason. Or if you're in that locker room, are you looking at Slay, who was looked at as one of our leaders on defense, mm-hmm. like, damn, bro, come on, you you about to do that now, or is it take care of yourself? Take care of yourself, man. These people you man, listen, I didn't been in. I played twelve years, so there's twelve different locker rooms. Who you start the off season with is who you're not gonna start training camp with. You won't start the opening day with. You won't finish the last game with. Mm-hmm. People, it's a revolving door in the NFL locker room. I don't remember ninety five percent of my teammates. Word. So mm. we all set out for one common goal: to win a Super Bowl, make the most money individually. If we get accolades on the road to win a Super Bowl, excellent. But we got one common goal: win the Super Bowl. And you ultimately. Know- Take care of yourself and your family. So if a player comes in and he ain't, I have issues if a player, if a person is dealing with an injury, I have issues if you're not doing your job. Word. But playing football is such a hard game. Pause if necessary. No, no pause, bros. All okay. 20, all 2024. All right. We're going hard. Check, you know, I got you. Check the website. No pause mugs, t-shirts. All no pause t-shirts. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Safe so place. if a person's injured or say they're injured and they got to get a procedure, go ahead and leave your business, bro. We go. I mean, listen, don't you get paid too? Well, yeah. all right, man. You've been wanting to play, right? Get yeah. on the field. And it ain't like it ain't like uh, Howie Roseman going to do Darius Slay any favors. No, uh, I, I, genu- I genuinely business. was asking because I know he's been in those locker rooms. That's yeah. something we wanted to know. Yeah, like, for sure. Because like, we was like, damn, Slay now. Now yeah. he came back it's from easy, the playoffs. It's easy for us to be like, yeah, that shit could have waited, bro. Now, one more. You got, you got Bradbury out here getting torched. Thank you. This was all pro, and Thank now y'all you. are getting Barbie. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. It was, yeah, was, Barry. Never played with him <laughs> it was uh, reported two weeks ago on WIP that during a game, uh, Jalen Hurts had gotten a fist fight with one of the cornerbacks on the Eagles. And this was reported on the radio. Mm-hmm. Did you hear anything about that? Is that no. have, never heard anything mm-hmm. about that? All like, right. Who would fight a quarterback? I just Is that even possible? Uh, two people at a – Football camp last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, but hold on, though. They hold jumped on, all over camp. camp. Good yeah. camp still on it, though. And yeah. he apologized yeah, he and he, he, he carried yeah. it like a man. They tried to make it seem like it was kids. Oh, it y'all wasn't. Forget, man, this it stuff wasn't happens, kids. man. Are we forgetting that Geno Smith got his jaw broke by a linebacker? Yeah. Yeah. But I felt oh, like plane ticket. I ain't gonna lie though. Jaw broke. I ain't gonna lie though. I felt and like they sent Buddy on his way, but he hey. I thought that derailed his career a little bit too. It like is. things just start going downhill for Gino. Yeah, him off. He ain't right back. No, but he went to Seattle and he reinvented yeah. himself, yeah. and I like that. But he had to mature. The problem with that situation was he was so arrogant. Remember the knock on him. Remember when Gino was coming out? West he was Virginia. supposed to be a first round pick. Yeah. But the word got out. He was arrogant. His work ethic, all this, and that's when he dropped. He went to the Jets. 
He got in the lineup. He was starting. <laughs> Remember what happened was that Thursday night football game against Atlanta, he had a fourth quarter drive to win the game. That took his, like, his ego went through the roof after that. I bet. And every, he started, and then words started getting out. He's arrogant. Teammates don't like him, this, this, and this. Your teammates don't like you, and they already on edge. If you owe somebody money. Yo, what's up with Sean Payton and them up there in Denver? <laughs> Sean Payton to figure it out. People forgetting uh, Drew Brees' first year in New Orleans was horrible. How can Russ come back and play for them after that, though? I don't think he should. How can he? I mean, he can if they going to pay him, but at that point. What you mean? That's, that's what I'm confused about. They already paid him. Well, they already gave him a contract and gave him some money. But he don't have no more guarantees, so, you know. And if he get hurt, they got to give him money. So they saying, shoot, we don't have to pay you no more. So only way we have to pay you is if you get hurt. So that's why they were saying, you know, or you could change this and we can, he didn't want to change it. So, all right. But to win in the NFL, one, you got to get lucky. A lot of people don't know that. Things just got to go your way. But two, you got to let bygones be bygones and understand, man, we here to get this money and win this ring. We, we ain't got to be friends. I don't have to be your friend. We step across those white lines. You do your job, and I'm going to do mine. Hey, hey, check that, check that. I'm going to tell you, check. Y'all make the play. Y'all get out the field. Y'all ain't got to shake hands after you make a play. Y'all ain't got to go to the sideline and talk. All y'all need to discuss is the checks and adjustments we need to make. Show up. They're so I have teammates that I was in the same room with that I didn't talk to. Mm. But we got on game day. I need you to do your job. That's it. Would you, would you say you was ring chasing at the uh, end of your career? No, nah, I just loved the game. After I Couldn't got have injured, been. You tried to sign nah. with Dallas. Couldn't have been. <laughs> after I got injured, after I got injured <laughs> you know, the only time I did ring chase is uh, when I went to Carolina. And I had an option between Carolina and Baltimore. Cam this was over there at the time? This is who was the Cam was there. They had Christian McCaffrey was there. Luke Keekley was still there. Was that the year after they, they went to the Super Bowl? Two years after. But Cam had they hit. Remember they started that year before, like uh, like seven and two, and then Cam got hurt against Pittsburgh yeah. on Thursday night and yeah. they fell off. But Cam was healthy, so I'm like, they got K1 short, Luke Keekley, Cam Newton, Christian McCaffrey. They had a squad over there. The defense was crazy. Yeah. Then you add me, I'm like, oh, it's a no brainer. We're going to we're going to chip. I didn't know that Lamar Jackson was about to come be Lamar Jackson. He was coming off his rookie year. So think about it. You have an established MVP in Cam Newton and a guy that they saying all he do is run when he get in trouble. So it's like, eh, what's going to happen? That was the year he won MVP unanimously. So I could have been in Baltimore. I chose Carolina. Cam got hurt in preseason. Damn. You see what I'm saying? That's it. And then Fletch, he went Philly. He keep getting all these superstars on his team. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. Oh, Sue, it's a, Sue left. It's a good Detroit thing. went to Miami. They was terrible. Shit, he Sue went to L.A. To Philly, he went, went to a Super Bowl. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's stuff just happened, bro. He went to L.A. He went to L.A. They went to the Super Bowl that year. They was trash to yeah. whatever. Then they won it. Yeah. He went to Tampa after I left. They won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yo, he sat at home all year, and he came to Philly and ended up in the Super Bowl yeah. again. In the rotation. Like That's he was what I'm saying, bro. Rotation. You got to get lucky. He had to play. People get we rings. Him to play. Some people get rings because they then some you just gotta get lucky. You, you just gotta be on the still, right uh, team. You think you can still give a team a couple snaps? Of course. Yeah. I stopped playing because I'm married. Okay. Yeah. I told yeah. my wife I'll just stop. But I bro, I work out. I work out like I I'm still playing. You right. still love the game? I still absolutely. I still bro, I still run my training sprints. camp around that time. You still get that urge and then. I still go out. So what I do is to keep my um competitive edge and like to you know, to feed that appetite, I do MMA and boxing. And I start sparring. That's I have to compete. Yeah. Working out ain't enough. I have to have some type of competition. But what I, I do is do a training camp. We can spar. Uh-huh. <laughs> but what happens <laughs> during training God, camp? <laughs> during training camp, I go out and and work out at the time that I would be practicing. So I still work at because here's my thing. I'm 36. I just turned 36 last week. If I never got injured, I would still be playing. So my mindset hasn't changed. I work out like I'm still playing. I still do the same running. I still do the same lifts. Mm-hmm. I got the same workout schedule, all of that. And I, I mean, at some point it'll go away, but, you know. You, uh, when's the last time you got a call like from maybe one of your coaches? Yeah, yo, G. <laughs> Listen, man. They told me to um, – la- 
last year, right before I retired, they said, just stay ready. And my wife was like, nah, she said, I just, I, listen, I want my, my husband to be able to play with his kids and be like, I was like, all right, I'll be done. And I immediately got on TV, so it worked out. I'm about to say you still got a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. And you said you're returning back this year, right? Yep. That's fire. That's yep. fire. G, we appreciate you pulling up. Actually, before you get up out of here, we need you to. Oh, yeah, you got to sign the wall. Sign, sign that wall, good, bro. Yeah. Yes, sir. Be careful. Hold on. Make sure all the basketballs is where they at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you saw any of the last couple of yeah, Super Streams. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, <laughs> they get dumped on the head, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be looking. <laughs> We looking, but tell you some flagrant twos going on. <laughs> we got Big Gerald in here, man. Gerald McCoy, six time Pro Bowler. I didn't even see before. What time is it? Uh, four fifty one. What? There were some questions that I didn't answer. I want to answer those. If it's some questions I need to answer, I got you. I, it was only a couple. Um, we asked a one, and then it was like a couple Jones. Like shout out to Gerald and shit like that. It wasn't really no questions like that. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't even see him. Yeah, we I'm missed him, G. How was it playing for Dallas and shit like that? Yeah, we answered that. So, yeah, but the Cowboys, a lot of people don't understand, man. Those guys are like, the way they treat them there, that's the why they all act that way. Why you got the basketball? Oh. Man, I will get ejected today. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> no, no, sign over here so they can see it. Sound like uh, oh, you, you know, guys, stay away from Woo. Somewhere up here, or wh- whatever you want, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah, it's just sick. Want. It's your world. Hey, again, chat. We're gonna do this again. Last time y'all burnt me. If I hit this jumper, everybody, everybody I go to FrozenbergTV.com, buy, buy, buy a merch. shirt, buy a mug, whatever nice. it is. If I hit this jumper, if Hold I up. don't hit it, Go back and buy it from the last time I hit it. <laughs> no pause, bro. It's on 2024. Ooh. Mm. Fuck. All right, we get him next time. Hey, Jared, we appreciate you pulling up, yeah, man. Yeah, of course, it's been man. A pleasure. You flew we've in. Been trying, man, we've been trying to get this done for forever. Now, I'll let you I'm know. I'm, ta- I'm taking now, this. Well, you, now, listen. Tell the chat. I'm a man of my word. I said, as soon as the season's over, yeah, I'll you be did. here. Hold up. Not in my so form on that tackle when I smack. Froze over there, maybe fumble. Well, you ain't tackling nobody. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't no running back. I ain't a good example. Well, I tried to get you on an interview back when me and Easy was doing the podcast. Mm-hmm. That's how long we've been uh, yeah. trying to get it done. And it was never really no, you never bullshitted me. Mm-mm. You always were straightforward, and you told me officially, Froze, let's get through the football season. Yeah. Your Eagles are trash. I'll be down there to the Froze <laughs> under the Super Screen. Hey, listen. Froze, listen, when I tell you my man is about business, I said, Froze, as soon as the season's over, hit me up. Yeah. Kansas City won the Super Bowl <laughs> on Sunday. He called me Monday, Monday morning. morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Monday morning. Well, he said, you said <laughs> now you said that. I said, dang, bro, I'm still in, I'm still in Vegas. Yeah. All right, when you coming yeah. home? Yeah. When you, when you home? fly home. Yeah. But you I held your word, yeah. and I appreciate yeah, it, man. Course, Thank you, G. Bro. We love. Hey, listen. I, I, I wore this hat f- for you simply because you showed up. I couldn't. You know, I couldn't. He couldn't. I couldn't. Now, I'm going to let you know a little secret. It, yeah. I kept the receipt. And this motherfucker <laughs> going back to the store. <laughs> and we got Jerry McCoy in the Super Stream. Love is love, love, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit my fucking music, man. <laughs> Know what they do.